Well, 6-2 and two with a five-game winning streak and 6-2 and two with a five-game winning streak. BSU and Duluth football are both rolling right now, and their paths are colliding tomorrow night. The implications of this matchup couldn't be any bigger. The winner sits all alone at the top of the north with only two games remaining. The Bulldogs offensively starting to find their groove in the defense, coming off back-to-back -back shutout performances. It's on the lights for Thursday night with two very similar teams. Both sides would be well coached offense and defensively and, and sound. I think Duluth's done a really nice job, especially on the offensive side of the ball. Um, if I, like I said, this is, I think, four quarterbacks who've completed ball, maybe five uh, this year. So that that's pretty impressive to get kids playing that well in B6 and 2 at this time. They're a defense that loves to stop the run, and we're an offense that loves to run the ball. So it's going to be one of those things that Coach Boldy said is going to be a street fight come Thursday night. Um, they want to stop the run, we want to run the ball. Um, it's going to be, it's going to be one, one heck of a game. Could you ask for a better way to spend your Thursday night in Bemidji? Chet Anderson Stadium, 7 o'clock kickoff. That should be a good one. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.